This guy right here is the Ambernick RG35XXH. And yes, it's playing Magic Knight Ray Earth on the Sega Saturn on this device. And it can do a whole lot more than Sega Saturn, that's for sure. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here checking out the Ambernick. Again, the model number is RG35XXH. Link in the description below if you just want to go straight there. It can do a lot, and I've covered these on my channel before. This is the newest model. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, all that other stuff too. Uh, but Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, even the Sega Saturn. Arcades, Neo Geo, a little bit of everything, really. Just going to check out just a few things in this video with this. Link in the description if you want to grab yours. Thank you for watching. These things are super neat, super handy to have around. I just think they're fun. Okay, so, ooh, well, I just charged it all of a sudden, didn't it? I just, I turned it off and turned it right back off, so, uh, <laughs> it's, it saved my spot where it was going to be. That's kind of fun. I like that idea. There's the power button on the side there. So, just a quick overview. Super nice, super sleek, super sexy. This right here is your SD card. You can just pop it off just like that. Um, you can load your own ROMs onto this. It is as easy as drag and drop. It'll have all the folders there. So that's uh, really handy because sometimes you get those devices that are like Raspberry Pi kind of and it's not as easy just to drag and drop ROMs. I like the drag and drop ability. It also has the, um, this is your HDMI. So you can like, you know, plug it into a television, I suppose. I'm not going to test that on this video here too, but oh, you're charging and it does come with the uh, USB-C for you. Headphone, of course, you know, just, you know, audio, whatever. Nice little slip proof thingies back there too to grab onto. Again, this was Magic Knight Ray Earth. Ta-da! But I'm not going to play Magic Knight Ray Earth yet. Is this button here? You can resume, you can restart, you can close the content. Is it closing? I think it's closing. There it is. Game over. Well, that was fun. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, Magic Knight Ray Earth, uh, they had zero Saturn games when I loaded this device. Like, when I first turned it on, I was like, okay, there's nothing in the folder. I'll at least drop in Magic Knight Ray Earth. I dropped in a couple of other games in their own folders, but they're not showing up. So you have to put them in just the default Saturn folder. I know that now. Um, but let's have a quick look to see what else this includes here. And we can go all the way to the beginning. This is the beginning part. So we have the games room. And this shows PSP, PS1, Vertical Arcade. That's, like, that's your uh, top tape mode there. All right. And they also get GBA, you know, NES game, but that's your Super Famicom. In the folders, it'll be FC for Famicom. And just your kind of your your basic, you've seen these before on these other devices. So kind of nice to see, kind of good to have. I love having access to any of the NES games or Super Nintendo games or stuff. But then what, uh, you know, what was like great was Dreamcast. Very cool. And I loaded a special Dreamcast game onto here. I'm hoping it'll work too. I loaded a couple of my other ROMs on here too. But this thing already came pre-equipped with a bunch of ROMs, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to search for all of them. But let's just have a look. So here is, and again, we know NES is going to work great. NES always works great, for the most part, right? And on these devices, never had an issue. But I did load my new Choo Choo Mimic. So let's see if we can find it. Here it is. I didn't add a thumbnail or anything, like a screenshot. But here's Choo Choo Mimic. And here it is. That's the music. That's the everything. There's me. Yeah. So, and again, we'll, we'll talk about more about this game here in a bit, but. But there you go. Yeah, so NES is running just fine. And then even if you download NES games, like through Itch or something like that, like someone's homebrew games, it's going to be just fine on here. Love to see it. So I'm going to back out of there. Close the content. Oh, you can also save state it, whatever you want to do. Save stating actually might work really well for that game because if you uh, beat the game getting all the coins, uh, then you get a special ending. So that's always fun. Um, I loaded, let's see here. I'm curious about, it has Mega CD. So this is your Sega CD. Um, I do love some Snatcher. Let's have a, let's have a quick peek see here. Because sometimes with a CD, it stutters a little bit. This one sounds like it's already doing well here. Well. Looks good to me. All right. Oh, do I do I dare pass it? They always sounded just a little bit different on the Genesis sound chip, but you know. All right. Wow, cool. 
One of the best games ever. Only available in the U.S. on the Sega CD, as far as I know. <sighs> Wish they'd do a double pack that had Snatcher and Police Nuts, but that's wishful thinking. And I wanted to see... So we saw the Saturn. And then we also have Nintendo 64. Now, I loaded a few of the 64 hacks on here. Well, I loaded uh, NWO, um, WCW NWO Revenge. It's one of my favorites. Um, this is a hack. I mean, this is... Let, let's just have a quick peek see here. Let's see what we got. All right. You hear, hear a little bit of the crackling with the audio. Gonna do the best we can. It looks pretty smooth on my end, though. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, fun. But let's see what it looks like when you actually play the game. I'm curious about that. Got the, the, it's got the analog down here, too. So it's already mapped for that. But here we go. Let's see what we got. Yes. Okay. All right, so the sky isn't all the way rendered there. It looks like some of the, the um, mapping... Ugh. I forgot how awkward these controls are. Where's my chute? There he is. There we go. You gonna fall? <laughs> you know. It's not terrible. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright. Let's back up here. Close content. Got it. Well, I hear it, but I don't see it, so. All right, well, you can hear it. It would have been a uh, slated to be a um, one of the hacks here. Close content. So not that one. Let me try one of the other hacks, though, because the other hack worked. I mean, the, uh, the Mario one worked. We'll try the Freem hack here. We'll see. You know, it's, it's, all, it's all in trial and error. If it works, great. If not, well, you know, at least we tried. This one seems to be okay. Oh. All right. Well, so far, oh, just me. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, so this one can be a thing. Huh. Let's have a look. Yeah. So it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> Boy, I'm not sure exactly how the buttons are mapped on this device here. So it'd be like this. So, actually, it looks pretty smooth to me. Yeah, the way the buttons are mapped is a little... So you have these. 
for 64 purposes, but then like C down, I think like this is this acts as your C button. So you have your B and A buttons. Come on. And then this is run, yeah. Again, not terrible, but you can figure it out. Interesting, okay. I hit the wrong button. Ah, what, no, just go back. Where's the back? Ah, oh, dude. No, dude, okay, no more searching. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to search anymore. Okay, that's the search button. This is the back button. Back, 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 back. Okay. How to go all the way back? Okay. Okay. There it goes. And close content. There we go. All right. And now I have to do this to go back. Okay. Oof. All right, let's look at Dreamcast. Because not only is Dreamcast the amazing, but I added this game on here too, and this is a new game. And let's see if it let's see how it works. All right. I get a little bit with the audio crackling, not too bad. No, oh, it's it's layering on top of layering instead of uh, closing out and doing something else. So here's Driving Strikers, available on Steam 2. This is the Dreamcast version. And it looks like it's going to have trouble with this one, but we'll see. We're going to skip that part. Um, yep. Oh, that's right. I'm looking at these buttons, but the buttons are mapped for Dreamcast, so. so that's, that's the A button for Dreamcast. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna slug. This one this one has issues on my other emulator too, so just had to had to check it out just in case. It does work. Or can. <laughs> but then again, I mean with what it is already and everything that's already loaded with all these other games so many to choose from including all of like these just for fun all of the uh, arcade stuff too uh, even virtual boy even virtual boy never played got a chance to play jack brothers well now you can play jack brothers it won't be in 3d sure auto pause that's weird why would you ask that <laughs> if you've never played Jack Brothers, it's actually a pretty fun game. It's just unfortunate that it's the that's the expensive one that people are searching for. So again, it's not gonna be in 3D, but if you just want to play the game and see what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, fun. 